Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn how to add vectors in physics. So in this problem we have a person that walks 15 meters at a direction 38 degrees north of east. He then turns and walks 8 meters directly east, then turns around again and walks 12 meters 45 degrees west of north, kind of backtracking a little bit. That will be important later. It's asking for the total displacement. Now remember, displacement includes both magnitude and direction, since it's a vector. In order to solve these problems, we need to break up all our vectors into their x and y components. So I'm going to add some dotted lines to show you where the x and y components would be for each one of those vectors. We then need to use trigonometry to actually extract the x and y components out of these vectors. So for d1, for example, we're going to use the cosine of 38 degrees in order to extract the x component, and we're, and we're, going, to, and we're, going, to, we're going to use the sine of the degrees to extract the y component of it. I filled those in on the table. Next we go down to our d2. We don't need to change anything with that because it only has a direction in the x direction. Finally, we follow the same pattern for d3. And then we go through and add up all the components in our x, that gives us 11.33, and then all the components in our y, which gives us our 17.72. If you're having trouble finding where these numbers came from, it'd be a good idea to stop the video now. One important part to note is our purple line in the x component has a negative by it. That's because it's moving in the west direction, so we have to take that into account and subtract it. Now here I've moved the chart um, and our lines, our vector lines, out of the way so we have a little bit more room to work. The reason why we broke everything up into x and y components was so that we could easily make a right triangle out of the sums of these components. For example, I've drawn an orange line showing our resultant displacement vector. Now we're going to just move this over here out of the way. And now you can see how it's broken up into two parts, an x component of 11.33 and a y component of 17.72. So now we've converted that mess of vector lines into a beautiful right triangle. Now that it's a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for our resultant displacement. That gives us 21 meters. Now unfortunately that's not the end of it because that is only the magnitude. We also need to find the direction. In order to get the direction out of this we need to use trigonometry. I'm going to choose tangent since we have an opposite of 17.72 and an adjacent of 11.33. The tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Now, you have to remember to get the angle out of that, you need to use an inverse tangent. We put that in and we get a final direction of 57 degrees north of east. Now, that is just the direction and we have just the magnitude so we can put them together to find our resulting displacement vector, 21 meters at 57 degrees north of east. And that's our final answer. If this video went too quick for you, feel free to go back and pause it periodically and work through the problem yourself. Also, I'd really appreciate you guys leaving some comments to see how I could make these videos a little bit better next time. Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later.